Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel uh, from Techno Composites. Uh, what is the problem is always the question that we have a look on. Um, today we want to have a look on Pultrusion. Pultrusion is the item today. Um, we from Techno Composites uh, make solutions uh, that customers can use based on glass fiber products. A lot of our business is based on Pultruded profiles and today we want to show you how Pultrusion works and uh, what you can get from it. Uh, we will explain in a short um, presentation. What is Pultrusion? Pultrusion is a manufacturing process um, where you get a glass fiber profile. So a profile from glass fiber reinforced plastics as an endless product. Um, yeah, so as a mass product. One of the simple profiles is a box profile like this one. 51 by 51 by uh, 3.5 millimeters or in this case 60 by 60 by uh, 5 millimeters or 4.5 millimeters. You can see the sure face um, is yellow in this case, here it's gray. Um, but what you also see is um, the mats in the profile. These profiles um, you can use uh, outdoor, you don't have to paint them, they are water resistant. So, um, very um, yeah, simple and good profile. So, if we look to a protrusion line, at first we start um, with a rack. This is a rack of typically metal, um, but it's storing uh, glass fiber rovings, glass fiber mats, and also fleeces that you can use for the sure face to make it more smooth. So here you can see um, glass fiber rovings um, that are on a spool. So glass fiber roving is a bundle of um, single glass fibers that are drilled together. And afterwards, this, um, these are put on a spool in a total length of maybe 250 or 500 meters. Also, you have glass fiber mats. And uh, in this way, you can see them with a, a random scrim. Um, and these are also used to make the product more stiff. Here in another picture, you can see um, glass fiber mats um, that are random or woven. That's also possible. You can use also woven uh, glass fiber mats. And uh, in the above area of the picture, you can see um, a polyester fleece. A polyester fleece is often used um, to have a more smooth sure face. Um, and uh, that's good for afterward painting or whatever you want to do with the profile. If we look to the next one, that's a box profile, a bigger one. You can see sure face is a little bit more smooth. You can see there are also mats and veils in the sure face, but there are also hollow chambers. And you have also a kind of um, C shape here, which is also possible to do in protrusion. If we look again back to the um, protrusion line, then you can see there is also a feeding device. Um, in the easiest way, a, feed, a feeding device is a wooden plate with drillings and uh, lines in, where you can put uh, your glass fiber roving onto the exact um, position, um, so that it's sure it's always going in, in that area into the profile and not in, in other areas. Because with protruding, you have to make sure that all the glass fiber rovings and glass fiber mats are always in an exact position and um, they are not allowed to swim in the profile. If we look to our new glass fiber cable tray, yeah, it's a tray and also a cover. You can imagine, um, with this glass fiber profiles, you need to put all the glass fiber mats and rovings in the right position. Um, so you have to make sure that every glass fiber roving is going to the right place, but also the mats. And for the mats, it's um, very necessary that they go around the outside area to make sure um, that the glass fiber profile is strong enough. 
if you look to the channel itself with uh, some hollow chambers. So we have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hollow chambers and a complicated shape. In that case, it's very complex to manage uh, the positioning of all the glass fiber rovings, um, the glass fiber mats and also the veils. Next one is the bus with resin. All the glass fiber rovings, glass fiber mats and all the fleeces, um, they dive in the bus with the resin and afterwards resin is on the glass fiber and you can go into the next step and the next step is the glass fiber tooling then. So the, the wet glass fiber rovings, mats and fleece go in a wet way into the protrusion die. The protrusion die is heated and it's pulled through the tooling and uh, in the tooling under heat uh, it's curing out. So if the glass fiber profile comes out of the tooling um, it has its normal shape, um, it's curing uh, a little bit afterwards but um, yeah you can see the, um, the right profile that you will hold in your hands. Here you can see what is also possible in protrusion. It's a profile with a width of more than uh, one meter and it's completely um, protruded. Um, yeah, also with this um, special shapes here in this side areas of the glass fiber profile. The next device is that which gave the name for protrusion. It's a pulling device. You can imagine if you have glass fibers and uh, you have no chance to press them through a tooling, you have to pull them through a tooling and that's the reason why the name is Pultrusion. So this unit um, grips the glass fiber profile and pulls it out of the tooling. And here you can see a, yeah, a very big profile for windows and doors. Um, it's also a complete glass fiber profile with a wall thickness of um, yeah, in some areas I would say um, 10 millimeters and the smaller areas are you know, something around 6 millimeters um, but it's a yeah, very massive glass fiber profile with also hollow chambers and also special areas here with uh, special details. We CNC machined um, these profiles for the Deichmannske Bibliothek in Oslo, the new one, um, and it's uh, used in the glass fiber facade for uh, the windows. And um, yeah, this is only a very short part of the glass fiber profile that we CNC machined. The typical length was something between four and six meters, uh, depending on uh, where it's used in the building. And then the last step, you have a flying saw. You can imagine um, it's an endless profile, but um, uh, one day, if it's long enough, you will uh, have a wall as barrier, or the truck is not long enough, so you have to cut it down, and that is done with a flying saw. In the easiest way, um, after the cutting, the profile with a defined length is going through a wooden pellet or something uh, similar. Then the profile is ready and then we can do on, for the profile CNC machining, we can also do sanding, uh, gluing, um, final assemblies with other parts like uh, metal parts um, or also electrical components so that our customers will receive um, a ready-to-use um, unit that he can put into his device as uh, he wants. So um, glass fiber profiles are used in different industries like um, buses, trains, trams, uh, but also chemical industry, um, in electrical industry, uh, building construction, infrastructure. So we have different customers where glass fiber profiles are used for. If you have special needs to your glass fiber profile, we can um, yeah, check these items and uh, provide you a tailor-made solution. If you have uh, questions to Poltrusion or to our products, yeah, have a look to our website. Uh, feel free to um, do some comments under uh, the videos. We will answer very fast. Also, um, we like likes. <laughs>
And it would be nice if you can give us a feedback if we should do more English videos in future or not.